this lesson, we're going to learn another major scale, but we're getting close to the end with those. And we're going to go over the fingering of the A flat major scale from the last lesson. And we're going to do some new things. We're going to learn our first chord. And then we're also going to learn to start playing in the left hand as well in order to play, be playing with both hands. So let's start with the chord. And um, actually, let's start with the, the major scale. Let's go to the major scale. That's a good idea. So we're going to start with E. We're playing the E major scale, and if you go to the two black notes, the next note up is your E, using our interval construction of whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, we're going to play. Okay, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. All right, so you got that formula down by now. Throw your flashcards in there if you want to. Right, and go ahead and sing. Da 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 Notice what I did there, I made some jumps. Alright, and once you start getting comfortable with this, you can do that. Da 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 You can start making bigger jumps and learn how to to hear that note ahead of when you're gonna play it. And eventually it'll be simultaneous. It'll get to the point where you can uh, you can play the note of the melody that you hear in your head, just making it up or, or, or something that perhaps you know without having to figure it out first, without having to play it first, and without having to lead there by playing other notes in between. So that's a really good skill to have, and that's what you should be working towards. So that's the E scale. And uh, we're going to go over the fingering in the A flat major scale. All right, so A flat is right here. It's the middle note of the three black notes. And we're going to play... Start with the second finger. This one's a little different than the other scales. So we get the second finger, third finger. So it's two, three, bring the thumb under. One, two, three, bring the thumb under. One, two, three. So it's two, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sort of like a little waltz going there. And then on the way down, you got three, two, one, pivot over. Three, two, one, pivot over. Three, two. Okay, so two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2. So that's your A-flat scale. Now, we're going to learn our first chord. We're going to stick with the key of C for now, and just to re-familiarize yourself with it, if you want to go ahead and play your major scale, that's fine. Now remember, in the last lesson, we learned about the intervals. Uh, and we talked about the intervals in two, two ways. First of all, the interval from the root of the, of the chord, or the key. Right, the key is the same as a scale. When we say scale and key, those, those terms are somewhat interchangeable. So the root in this case is your C, and your intervals are your second, major second, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, major sixth, major seventh, and then back to the root again. Those are your intervals from the root. All right, so we're gonna learn a one major chord, a one major triad, and the triad is a three note chord. So um, <clears throat> when I say one major, you're learning two things. One is the position of the chord. So it's a chord that's based around the one note, which is the first note in the scale. All right, so the root is also called the one. Makes sense, right? So the second thing I told you was that it's a major chord. So that's the type of chord it is. All right, and a major chord is a certain construction that we're going to talk about now. So first let's learn the chord, and the, the one major chord is going to be made by playing the, the root or the one, the major third, and the perfect fifth. Okay, and then I just use different fingering there, but probably best to play this with the one, the three, and the five finger. Okay, and this is, you can play them all at the same time, you get a really nice kind of even sound there. And when I talked a couple lessons ago about having sort of a happy feeling, that's what I mean. That, that major chord has sort of a happy feeling as opposed to the minor chord has a little bit more of a sad feeling and kind of a darker tone to it. All right, so once again, one major third, perfect fifth. That's your root position or your one major chord. Now, those are the intervals as they relate to the scale. You can also talk about the intervals as they relate from the distance from one note to the next. There's two ways to talk about that. You have that major third that we talked about we can also say that as one, two, three, four half steps. 
the half steps are the physical distance. The major third is the interval name for that particular distance, all right? But also, if we go from the, the major third to the, to the fifth, it's one, two, three notes, three half steps, which gives you a minor third. Okay, so again, a minor third is the, is the distance, whereas the half steps are the physical uh, interaction there. So a major chord is always a major third and a minor third. So it's a minor third stacked on top of a major third. Those are your interval distances. And then the, the one major chord is your one or your root, your major third, and your perfect fifth. We're going to reinforce this as we, as we go into other scales and also as we get into other chords. All right, so that's your, that's your first major chord, and that's pretty cool. Now we're going to play the left hand. And the left hand, what we're going to do is we're going to find our C again, but we're going to go down a little bit. All right, so here are the two black notes, and the one just below that is your C. All right, in this case, um, it's one octave below the notes that we're playing. So this is middle C. You don't have to worry about that, but it's sort of in the middle of the keyboard. That's why it's called middle C. One octave below that, we're playing a C down here. And what playing notes in your left hand does is it sort of provides a bass. All right, it anchors um, the song or the backing that you're playing with a lower tone and sort of fills out the, uh, the oral spectrum. And um, so for now, we're just going to play one note. And then you're going to play, first thing you're going to do is play that one note along with the chord in your right hand that we just learned. So you have your, your C down here and your C major triad, your one major triad here. Now, I can say it's a C major triad or a one major triad. A one major triad just means that it's the first major triad in a major scale, or it's the one chord in the major scale. This particular one major triad is a C major triad because the scale is C. Make sense? All right, so a one major triad would apply to any major scale, right? But the C major triad is particular to the C major scale. So we've got the chord in the right hand and then the, the note in the left hand. The next thing I want you to do is to just play, just hold down the note in your left hand and play your major scale. Once you've played it a couple times, sing it. Da, 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 da. Then you can go ahead and play some of your melodies that you've been working on, some of your little patterns. Da 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 da. If you can't, if you don't worry about the fingering too much, use whatever's comfortable for you. If it's one finger that you want to play with, that's fine. Da 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 da. And just go ahead and hold that note down. If you feel like it, you can reapply that note every once in a while. So. Da 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 Okay? So, and the last thing I want you to do is to go ahead and take that that happy melody that you were working on from the song that you chose and to go ahead and play it again and see. We already worked on that by itself, but this time I want you to play it along with the the left hand accompaniment. So, Da, 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 da. Now, it may clash at certain times because right now we're only playing one bass note, whereas we might uh, later on switch, we're going to switch around and play other notes in the left hand. It's called a bass note, by the way, because it's low. Um, but for right now, just play the one note, and if it doesn't seem like it matches the melody that you're playing, don't worry about it for now. I just want you to get used to that physicality of it and also sing what you're playing. Always sing what you're playing. Okay, so that's a lot. I'm going to reiterate what I said in the last lesson, which is this is a lot of material. It may be a little overwhelming for you. Go back and listen to the um, listen to and watch the videos again, and uh, you know really take the information and try to master it as best you can. There's a lot there, especially when you're getting into the, sort of the technical stuff with the intervals. Um, that's you just you have to learn that you know if you want to really kind of learn about music. But it's the, the singing and the listening and the, the hearing that is really kind of the essence of the lessons. So spend some time on that. Get it down, move on, and you're on your way. All right. See you in the next lesson. Bye.